think the hardest decision in filming is literally ring light or no ring light. channel so as you guys know all the details on the hair will be listed down in my description box below so go ahead and check that out if you guys have not already I will list any coupon codes that are available to you from the company through me uh, there as well so if you are not already subscribed this is now a good time to go ahead and do that alright okay as you guys know I already um, have my hair just braided back I have one two three four braids I don't know why I just count it like that what was that about? But nevertheless, I have four braids going straight to the back, and then I have my cap on. For whatever reason, when I was laying it down with, like, my little gotta be loose spray or whatever, like, these sides just was not laying. Probably because I have a lot of oil in my hair. So, I ended up just trimming this off. No big deal. The lace on this unit is so transparent. Sis, y'all not even ready. So, as you guys know, I've been on this, like glue this unit type of flow lately so elastic band we have the wig combs that's all that we're using we're not going to be using all those extra products just because it's like for what but once you get the unit of course flipped on you decide where you want it to sit of course i always part my units like in the middle just so that i'm able to really gauge exactly where it needs to be aligned on both sides of my hair so just make sure that you stretch out that lace as much as possible you guys see how transparent this is like since we are in the mother flipping game what I did not do was trim off the sides so that is something that I need to go ahead and do real quick so in order to do that I literally just pull the hair over you guys can clearly see here that there is lace falling over my ears so I'm gonna go ahead and just trim that off on the side and I try to get it as close as possible to the actual wig lace line because I mean that's just the whole point right alright so now that your ear is comfortably able to just kind of pop out you guys can see this is laying down perfectly I don't have too much of a mess and the hair is not going down too too far so I don't have like these large obnoxious sideburns and you're able to check that on both sides I did actually already do this side. I don't know how I forgot the other side but yeah they match up perfectly so I think we're good in terms of where it needs to be then of course you want to pull your wig back I have a huge forehead so I can keep going <laughs> um, but it's up to you where you want it to sit so I try to mimic my hairline just a bit I don't want to exaggerate not having a I guess big forehead because when I take the wig off y'all gonna be like girl your hairline receding you know so just keep that in mind you, you definitely don't want to be looking crazy afterwards so this is pretty much it, y'all. We done. Bye. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so goofy today, but uh, nevertheless, you guys know, I'm just going to show you how to really lay the wig down. I did already, like, curl this a couple days ago. As I kind of lay this unit down today, I'm going to show you just kind of a little bit more of a layering process that I never really got to do. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this back. And then, of course, you guys know I'm about to trim off this lace. And... We'll go from there. So the thing that I love about transparent lace, you guys, it literally melts into your skin. It doesn't matter what tone you are or anything like that. You don't have to do anything to this. Obviously, the knots on this unit is bleach, are bleach. I always do that. That's a normal thing for me. If the company doesn't do it, then I likely pluck it. So if you guys are not familiar with how to bleach or tweeze out your units, I have plenty of videos for that. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and do that after watching this video. And I'm using scissors today. Actually, no, I'm not because I just found this. This is what I was looking for. So instead of using scissors, definitely I would recommend using, what is this? An eyebrow razor just to lightly take off your lace to trim away the edges you don't need so that it's kind of rigid, raggedy, and not so perfect and strategic. Honestly, if you have a good lace, none of what I'm saying should matter. But in the event that you don't, this definitely helps blend it. So I try to get as close as possible to the natural hairline. I leave maybe about a, maybe a millimeter of lace outside of here. Just so that you have a little room to kind of blend and things like that. Um, and let me kind of zoom in so you can see this. Alright, so there we go on the whole lace thing, right? And I'm just going to literally start to trim this. Thank you. 
and you guys can see how it's literally just like melting into my skin and like I said before this is completely glueless like I don't have anything look at that nothing on my hair it's not a trick all right so the only part about wearing a glueless unit is that the flaps are something that could be a problem. So you guys always ask me, how do you keep your flaps down? You don't. Um, literally all that I do um, is to try to help out with that is to take some mousse, I'll lay down the edges of my units, and then of course I kind of help set it into place. But to be honest, with the glueless unit, the likelihood of it just kind of staying in place is like, okay, I mean... It's worth it because look at this like I'm literally just like if you pull out some little sideburns here and if it fits perfectly and it's snug enough it's not gonna go anywhere like I'm good right not too much to worry about I'm looking good you can kind of see here if you want and you feel a little bit more comfortable you can definitely go ahead and put some gotta be glue spray just on the edges here um, but for me it's not a big deal like by the time I pull this down I style the unit I'm good okay all right, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. You guys got a little close up there, and I'm just literally going to trim. And y'all, let me know if y'all notice my tan. So, if you guys know, I went to Bali for a little bit. This is completely like sidebar, but um, yeah, I got that good glow going. <laughs> okay, how I'm going to shout out my own glow. Anywho, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Like, I have the unit completely on. We're not really doing too much to it at all. The sides are just the sides. We're going to put it down right here. You're able to part this unit in plenty of areas, pretty much all over. You want to do a, uh, I keep saying that, but I'm not pulling anything out. If you want to do a side part, <laughs> you definitely can. Boom, there you go. I'm sorry, I'm not really parting this in the best way. And let me do this a little better. Let me show y'all. There you go. Boom. Same thing on this side. Boom. There you go. So, yeah, you can do that on both sides. And as you guys can see, let me just kind of show you the little layers that I did do. I literally just trim just a teeny tiny bit right here. And that's pretty much it. But... I think for the most part, I just really wanted to come and show you guys how to install the unit um, straight out of the packaging, well, after you bleach and tweeze your nuts just a little bit and just how to really apply the glueless unit because I'm telling you, it's so easy. You don't have to worry about doing too much at all. So all that I'm going to go through from here is just literally use my hot comb to go ahead and lay this down. I was debating on if I was going to do like a full styling thing in this video, but I think just for the time purposes, I'm not. I'm going to do a part two for this and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to start to go through this now. And the hair feels really soft in texture. I know you guys can kind of hear that. That's like my brush, you know, but I'm not getting a little sexy. Okay, so I'm not getting uh, too much shedding at all. Of course, I did just get a little bit of shedding because I just trimmed off that lace, but literally, it's this, like, literally nothing. So, that's that. The hair feels really, really good, really soft. There wasn't a smell. The light layers that I have in it now are literally, they're fine. I feel like they could be better. They can, yeah. So as you guys know, to lay down the tops of the wig, the sides of the wig, and just to really sleep this baby out, I'm going to be using my straighten comb. Obviously, it's warmed up right now, so it's not even hot. Um, but I use the electric one. The reason for this is just because I don't want to run back and forth to the oven and... Well, the oven, the stove, not even just that. I have an electric stove, so it won't even make sense. But <laughs> if you do have one, you can obviously use a gas one. It will heat up a lot faster. And um, yeah, so there's that, y'all. Somebody is blowing me up. So if you guys know me, you guys know I enjoy a nice middle part, but I enjoy a deep middle part. So the way that I like to measure out exactly where I want part B, I'm going to go ahead and just see where my ear is. So obviously my ear is here, and I go from the back of my ear, so the very back of it right here, all the way up and across to the very tip top of my head. So this point, this is going to be how far back a, a part 
can't talk <laughs> apart on me my specific head shape so on and so forth should go this is how I measure out my parts for clients as well just so that you're aware like you know a middle part should not go from here to two inches I mean it could obviously if your head was like twice the size of mine smaller right did I even say that right? But if your head was not as big as mine, obviously a smaller part may work for you. But for me, I just would rather go with a larger part to complement my head shape. So um, just for it to make sense, just so you guys kind of understand. I know a lot of times I give you a lot of information and it's like, ah, oh, but we don't have any background, you know, story on it. And I totally understand that. So um, I just kind of want to break it down, get down to the basics for you guys. Now, in order to pretty much help hold this down, I am going to be using, um, let's see, do I want to use mousse? Give me a second. I'm not going to be using mousse. I'm actually going to be using my Morocco, Moroccan oil treatment. I got this a little while ago. Honestly, I've had this for so freaking long. I think it was like $24 in my beauty supply store. But it's just a light oil just to help moisturize the hair. And I'm literally, I like pour it like this, right? Tilt my hand back. And it's literally less than a dime size amount that I'm using on my hands and I'm just gonna use that right over the tops of my flyaways and you guys see instantly it like laid that down I just don't want anything heavy and sometimes the mousse can kind of cause build up a little bit um, especially the one that I've been using I told you guys a while ago that I haven't been using the cream of nature at all so yeah you just want to lay down your hot comb in the direction that you want it to go you may have to go over it a couple times don't be nervous about it the cap will protect the heat from your head but don't get too excited because it will go through <laughs> that's happened to me before we're just kind of steam through I'm like eh. but you guys look at this freaking lace y'all this looks like it's growing out of my scalpula all right, and then just to help this out just a little bit more, I'm going to be using my Kenra. Uh, this is a wax stick. I usually use this on like weaves and stuff like that, maybe quick weaves when you want to blend a leaf out or something. But I'm going to use this to kind of help get rid of the bulk as well. Um, so I'm just going to lightly glaze this over the top. You guys, I've had this product, I'm not even going to lie, maybe five years. Like, and I don't know if that's like good or bad, but... I don't know if that's good or bad, but I've had this product for a very, very long time. Like, Jesus, and look how much I still have left. Like, a whole stick. And I've, I've consistently used it. So yeah, I'm just, you tap this on a little, when I say a little goes a long way, I literally mean that. definitely the easier way than going like with a flat iron to kind of go through this because that can kind of take a while just to really try to lay everything out I don't know why this little area right here is looking a little funky and that is the before and after of pretty much how to get rid of the bulk in your hair on the lace wig so I'm just gonna go ahead and mimic the exact same thing on the other side I 
it's very easy very lightweight you don't have to worry about too too much the flaps on the side will always be flapping if that is an issue for you obviously there are other methods but these are going to be for my people that don't mind you just want a wig that is stable secure it's not going anywhere throughout the day um, but you don't want to have to deal with the whole laying the units down and going through that whole hassle so i definitely understand that but uh yeah tell me what you think about it and I literally like lightly tweeze this. I didn't even like over tweeze this unit. This is so, it looks good. <laughs> Nevertheless, I love you guys so much. If you are not already subscribed, now is a good time to go ahead and do that. Share, repost, comment, all that good stuff. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye babies.